everybody, my name is Miss Malia and I'm the Youth Services Specialist here at Upper Cane William Library. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are going to be talking about our Summertime Fun Pack Program. So hopefully that you, you've already gotten your take and make from Upper King William Library and in that pack you should have three different things. You should have your bubbles, you should have two straws that are connected with yarn, and a bag of chalk. And you should also have your directions as well, okay, in case you can't access this video. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about some classic traditional ideas with bubbles and chalk and we're also hopefully going to show you some new ideas and um, how you can use the bubbles and chalk in the future and, and in the years to come. Okay so today to help me show you these different activities and techniques I have my helper. Come on over! Okay so this is my helper Izzy and we are gonna start showing you these activities right now. Right? Are you excited? Me too. All right, we'll see you soon. Get that take and make out and let's get started. So the first activity we're gonna do is just classic blowing bubbles. So unscrew the top of your bubbles and then you wanna blow bubbles for them is? Whoa! Let's try it again. So you just dip it in and make sure you can see that bubble when it comes out. Whoa! Okay, try it one more time. There we go. Okay, and another way you can do it is, can you wave it? Don't blow it, but wave it. But, whoop! I can do that. I can do that. Okay, go ahead and try it. Go ahead, grab it out. Come on over here so they can see you. Okay, try it. You gotta wave it. There you go, nice. Okay, so that was our first technique, our first activity. So waving it and then just blowing it like a normal bubble. The next activity that we are gonna be doing, you're gonna need your two straws and your yarn for this one. And um, if you didn't have time to pick up a take and make or you lived that far, all I did was just string yarn through two straws and tied it at the end so that it makes like a little circle or I guess rectangle once it's all said and done. Okay? So, and I have a little tub too where you have some water in there already and I have put some dish soap just a little bit and I'm gonna kind of stir it up with my fingers so don't wear anything nice when you're doing this because you might get a little bit of water and bubble solution on there um, go ahead you're gonna help me mix it you could probably also use what's in the tube but I like to make my own it's more fun <laughs> All right, so when you think that you've got a right mixture, you might need to add more water or more bubble solution, um, depending. I think we're ready to put our straws in there. Okay, so just take it, hold it by the two straws, and place it in. Push the yarn down a little bit so it's completely soaked. Okay, let's go. Ready? Let's see. Okay, and to make the bubble, you just, oh, move with it. It might take more than one try. Okay. Whoa, look at that big bubble. <laughs> Activity. So have fun with that one. Hey everyone. So 
So our first chalk activity is going to be our chalk hopscotch board. Now all you'll need is somewhere to draw your hopscotch board and a piece of chalk. Okay? So I'm going to start from the back and I'm going to do a couple of squares in my own pattern that I want and then I'm going to write numbers inside. Okay? Here we go. So I have my hopscotch board drawn and I have my two hopscotch helpers, Izzy and this is Journey, and they're gonna help us demonstrate how the hopscotch goes. All right, girls, you ready? Let's do this. where they're gonna continue hopscotching. And that is our hopscotch, so enjoy. And let me see your videos of you doing hopscotch or your pictures of your hopscotch board so we can get more ideas. All right, let's go on to our next chalk activity. Okay, our next chalk activity, silly, is our obstacle course. So you can do all different sorts of things with your obstacle course. Make sure you list start and finish. And um, you're going to see things like spin or monster steps or baby steps. You can just do whatever you want to do. Um, so we're going to make our board and then my helpers are going to demonstrate it. Okay, we'll see you in a sec. All right, so we finished our obstacle course. So we have our start line and then you hop with both feet and then you follow this line and then you have monster steps so l and r for left foot right foot right foot left foot right foot then you have a crab walk so you're gonna turn sideways and walk Whoop. and then clap five times one two three four five then spin to finish Ooh, spin, 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 finish. And you can do all different kinds of obstacles, like the penguin walk and everything. All right, you girls, are you ready to try it out? You ready? Let's go! Activity today and are my helpers awesome they're so great good job thank you Izzy and Journey for your help today all right um, our last activity we're gonna do is our stained glass or geometric pattern chalk activity and all you need for that is painters tape or masking tape and chalk so I'm gonna go ahead and start our design and um, I'll show it to you and then we'll color it in taping our pattern 
and now our helpers are gonna call her in. So I'll show you what it looks like at the very all end. Right, so we finished coloring in all of our geometric shapes and our stained glass. So now the last part is to just take the tape off. So here we go. Thank you so much for joining us today for our summertime programs. We hope you had a good time and have a great Thank summer. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.